Uh, they're very busy in the nesting season. They're incubating eggs right now. Some of them are still building their nest. They're bringing in sticks. You can see them flying by. But there's trouble here as well. Look at, there's literally thousands of nests here of brown pelicans that were only recently taken off the endangered species list. You have some of the beautiful pink roseate spoonbills. Uh, you have egrets. You have a number of birds here that are nesting. And all of this is at risk now because of this oil. Uh, the first impression is that it's looking like uh, the boom is doing its job, but a second impression makes you realize that the boom is not doing its job, because if you look in here past this first boom designed to keep the oil out, and then the second boom designed to absorb the oil, you can see the green vegetation at the edge of this mangrove. And the vegetation, the bottom six inches of it, because the tide is a little bit out, you can see is all blackened, and that's blackened from the oil that got past these protective barriers. What this really shows is how difficult it is, even with barriers available, and some areas don't even have barriers available, but it shows how difficult it is, even with the right equipment, to pick up oil once it's spilled. The booms can kind of work in reverse, too, because if the oil does get under the booms, which happens very easily in choppy weather, uh, what happens is, is that the oil then gets stuck within the booms to some extent, and it can continues to contain the oil around the island so it can't escape. So you have to monitor the situation constantly, and uh, if the winds and the oil shifts and where it is and, and when it's coming around, uh, perhaps even removal of the booms to let some of the oil float out becomes necessary. So it, you just can't leave the booms out here and walk away. Who knows how many waves of oil this particular island will experience. It's now at the 35th day of the oil spill. It's kind of been like a slow motion train wreck and the brakes still haven't been put on because the oil is still spilling at, at virtually the same rate it was at the beginning of this oil spill. My concerns about for the birds on this island is that we know that even a single drop of oil on an egg uh, can cause that egg to die. Now it's very easy for oil to get onto the eggs because the pelicans are always diving into the water and they can pick up the oil as they do this and then they go back to their nest after they're done feeding and they sit down and they brood. Well they've got oil all over their feathers. It's, it's a difficult challenge here, but it's a challenge that we have to do everything we can to meet because th this is an important nesting colony.